Hello, everyone. My name is Catherine. I am a CRLA Master Level Tutor for the Bristol Community College Online Learning Commons. In this video, we will discuss study skills for an online course. Let's start with what you need to be successful. In online courses, you want to make sure that you have access to reliable internet access. This allows you to successfully view the course space and take quizzes and exams without the fear of losing your connection. You should also have a space dedicated to only your schoolwork. We have another video that goes over this in more detail. To be successful, it cannot all be school all the time. Make sure you have a balance between school, work, and personal life. The last and most important thing you need in an online course is motivation. You don't have a lot of reminders and cues that you would in traditional courses, so it's important that you are motivated to complete the course. Another important part of study skills in online learning is time management and scheduling. Here we have a general overview of some important scheduling items. If you would like to learn more about this, please see the time management video. To be successful, you should make a study plan and stick to it at least 95% of the time. If your class does not have a set time to meet, you should make a block of time and work on only that class. It is very important both mentally and physically to take breaks. These breaks should be five to 10 minutes long. Setting goals is another important part of being successful in an online course, but make sure the goals are simple and achievable. When completing assignments, you should plan to have them done two to three days earlier. This allows you to ask questions and revise assignments before submitting. Things change, so check into your course space frequently. This doesn't mean sit and do work, but check and see if there are any updates or changes to due dates. The last two are really important to scheduling. Do not procrastinate and avoid distractions. In order to study effectively, you need to know the course you're taking. Start by reading the syllabus. This is one of the most important things. If you can, print it and keep it handy, or save it to your computer. You will refer to it throughout the semester. Make sure you take note of any learning objectives or goals that are listed in the syllabus or course space. These will help you take notes and study later. You should also know what you're responsible for, such as buying a textbook, completing discussions, and watching video lectures. You should also make sure you have the technology and software that is required for the class, if any. Know the format of the course. How are you supposed to submit your assignments? How are you contacting your professor? And how to use the platform? If you have never used Blackboard before, you can enroll in the eLearning 101 course. Make sure you know how you will be tested. This will impact how you study. Most importantly, treat an online course the same you would a traditional course or job. Show up and participate. Notes and studying are important in all course types. Here we will discuss some ideas that are helpful in online learning. When taking notes, you should answer any learning objectives that are provided in the course space or syllabus. You should also plan to review your notes frequently. You can do this using flashcards or an online application such as Quizlet. If your professor posts a video for you to watch, you should take notes on the material and note the times in the video that the concepts are covered. This allows you to go back to a certain point in the video to clarify concepts you may have problems with. Another helpful tip is to color code or highlight your notes in your readings. This makes it easier to find important concepts. Studying an online class can be difficult, but it is highly recommended that you create study groups within your class. Another option is to attend SI sessions if they're available for your course. If you learn better auditorially, you could use text-to-speech or other apps to read material to you. Throughout the semester and using your notes, you should quiz yourself. This helps you identify where you are having trouble and seek help for this area. Sites like Quizlet will give you the option to put your flashcards into quiz format. In online classes, you do not have the social cues that you would have in a traditional course, so it's extremely important to communicate. Start by participating in online discussions, making sure to follow netiquette guidelines. This will help you build relationships with your peers and form study groups. It is extremely important to communicate with your professor. If you get stuck or don't understand something, ask them for help. If you start to fall behind, let them know. They will understand things happen and open communication could allow opportunities for extra credit. It is very important to stay motivated in an online class. Here are some things to keep in mind. Not every day will be productive. Don't force it. It's okay and normal if you have a non-productive or less productive day. 
make sure you reward yourself for completing an assignment or for getting a good grade. Although you're in school and it is your priority, make sure you make time for you, fun, family, and friends. Without proper balance, you can become burned out and stressed. If you find yourself getting stressed over an assignment, try taking a five minute break and remind yourself what you're hoping to accomplish by taking this course. Most importantly, if you need help, ask for it. We're here to help you. You can ask your professor to help. Their information is usually on the first page of your syllabus. If you need assistance with something e-learning based, you can contact our e-learning team through site. If you're having technical or computer problems, you can contact our tech team. The library is a good source for research information and they give you access to multiple databases to help. In my department, the online learning commons is where you can get help with papers and content and classes you are taking. Don't hesitate. We're here to help you. You can book a virtual appointment through the online learning commons by emailing us at onlinelc at bristolcc.edu or calling us at 774-357-4013. You could also access us through a chat box in Access BCC under Campus Resources and Learning Commons. This slide contains the references used to make this presentation. If you would like to learn more about study skills, please contact the online learning commons.